Primarily, he is a doom or being. We must understand that shaitan is an avowed enemy to mankind. When we say that he is an avowed enemy to mankind, we must understand that reality of shaitan being the worst type of demon that we can think or conjure up in our, in our mind or, or in our reality. Right? If we think that shaitan is just some boogeyman or like Halloween coming up and the kids, they dress up in the red suits with the pitchfork, if you think that that's shaitan, or if you think that Shaitan is Casper the Friendly Ghost, right? Or if you think that Shaitan is Ghostbusters, right? Then you already lost the war. When the Prophet Muhammad saw some said that when Shaitan turned into Shaitan, before he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was one of the most handsome of the jinns, the most beautiful of the jinns. But it says that when he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bow down before Adam alayhi salam, he turned into the most despicable, the most ugliest, horrible thing that you could ever think of. So when we're talking about shaitan, we're not talking about a red thing that has a tail with a pitchfork, something that the kids wear, they wear a mask during Halloween, and hey, hey, I want to dress up like the devil, ha, ha, ha. and people think that it's funny, right? Shaitan is the most hideous, right? The most vile, the most despicable demon, devil, goon, goblin that you can think of. You know, if you have some of these, these, uh, some of these movies, they talk, they have like, the spirit world and whatnot, they got this thing coming, and oh my God, it's worse than that. He's worse than that. Shaitan is not something to laugh about. Shaitan is not something to be thinking is funny. Shaitan is the most despicable, the most vile, right? The most hideous creature that you could ever think of. Our imagination can't even think of what Shaitan is. So we say that Shaitan is a doomable being. We say that Shaitan is an about enemy to mankind. We must understand that this is a person that hates you with the utmost hatred that he has in his heart. Right? He got a cold heart. When they say that his heart is cold, or, oh man, that dude, his, his heart is cold. Right? We think of Jeffrey Dahmer or somebody that's despicable or something like that. Man, that dude, man, he's wicked. Shaitan is more wicked than that. Shaitan is the one that causes wickedness. So the person that you think is wicked, or the people that you think that are wicked, they do wicked things, or they can kill people, or they can, uh, murder people. Shaitan is more worse than that. Right? Allah says he's Allah God or he's the grand deceiver. The deceiver of all deceivers. Right? He's the pimp of all pimps. Right? He's pimping you for your soul. Try to take you to the hellfire. So we say we see virtue of Allah, Allah from Shaitan and cursed. We mean that. Right? But you'll never understand the reality of Shaitan until he tries to whoop you. When you get whooped by Shaitan, when he tricks you, he manipulates you, Right? Because that's what he do. He's the grand manipulator. Then you understand a little bit of reality of who he is. But like the Prophet Muhammad some of some said, there is no wisdom without, you know what I'm saying, experience. Until you get whooped, right? Until you're thinking that you're doing good and then Shaitan knocks you off your feet, flips you upside down and shakes all the pennies and nickels out your pocket, right? Then you'll have an understanding of who he is. Right? So we say Shaitan is a doom on being and we should treat him as such. So understand that. The worst person that you can think about. The person that wants you to go to the hellfire. The person that wants you to die. Right? The person that wants to destroy everything that you got. That is Shaitan. Okay? Understand that. So we see, friends of Allah, pull up from Shaitan the cursed. For ready, he is a doom of a being. We begin by saying, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most merciful.